Today we're gonna be talking about a bunch of stuff regarding new content for Black Ops 3 Zombies. Oh boy, it seems like something's coming and I'm talking about Grief Game Mode. And yes, there's a huge possibility of that and something major that may come into Black Ops 3, uh, specifically uh, for Black Ops 3 Zombies. Of course, not on a scale of 8 remaster Zombies map, it's not gonna be major like that, but it blows my mind that we got DLC 5. Even though it was expected from me and from a lot of people, but at the same time a lot of people doubted that, but uh, we all know it's here, and it's almost getting close for it to release on the Xbox One and PC, June 15 it is, that's exactly when it's going to release, and that's exactly what the time frame looks like for new content, and of course 2017 isn't over yet, I know guys, I like to throw facts at you guys, but I mean 2017 isn't over yet, and there's always going to be a possibility that we will see more content throughout this year, as Activision and Trek have already said so, and they also confirmed that they are actively working on making sure that we get new content, not only in Black Ops 3, but in Modern Warfare Remaster and in Infinite Warfare, but a lot of people do care about Black Ops 3, that's why we got DLC 5 in the first place, and realistically, my expectations are, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, my expectations are that we're only going to see new camos, guns, weapons, some events, and that sort of stuff, and there's, yes, there's an event that will take place very, very soon, and there's also going to be a camo that we're going to see very soon, I'm gonna get into it in just a little bit, but now we have things like maybe we'll be seeing Grief Mode return into Black Ops 3 Zombies, and we do have some facts to back this up, but mostly we're going to theorize like we do like to theorize about DLCs before they even release, we did that for all the DLCs, even for DLC 5 and things like that, but first things first, I wanna get done with this topic, now there's my boy Ahmed, uh, I don't know him but apparently he's my boy now, he actually tweeted this at Glitching Queen and she actually brought this to my attention and uh, absolutely everyone's attention who has actually watched her video and in this picture we can see a new camel and we can see its code now by looks of things it seems like it's uh, going to be the revelation pack bunch camel and the code suggests that we're going to see a new event take place for black ops 3 zombies it goes like this mpui underscore camel underscore zm hd underscore event underscore zero two so looks like this is going to be a follow-up event in the first one we had to get 500 million head shots to unlock the Gorod Krovi Dragonfire Camo, and this time it will be the Revelation Pack Bunch Camo, and an event will also going to take place, and I'm assuming it's going to be next week when DLC 5 releases on Xbox and PC. Now, moving forward with the juicy ass information, we have Noah J456 who actually tweeted this out on June 6th. He goes on and says the following, two hours until I interview Jason Blundell, get your questions in now. Now, the first thing comes to my mind is why uh, why is Jason giving an interview like specifically now? We, we got DLC 5, Black Ops 3 seems to be over. Of course it's not and that's a good thing, but why would he do an interview now? He has done a lot of interview with basically anyone that, uh, basically anyone and everyone that went to Treyarch to record DLC 5 and a lot of big zombies YouTubers have uploaded them on their channels and uh, it does not make sense. The only thing comes to my mind is that there will be something new coming for Black Ops 3, specifically for Black Ops 3 zombies. And it's definitely not going to be a camo or a weapon. Jason wouldn't do an interview over a weapon or a new camo. It has to be something spicy. And later on, he tweeted this out and uh, it basically says that Jason just dropped three gigantic bombshells. Oh boy, uh, in, in the interview we just recorded. Holy cow, video up this weekend. Now, I'm not totally sure if Noah's the type of guy to say holy cow and everything, but I'm certain that shit would be mind blown as F, as he mentioned three gigantic bombshells in his tweet. Now, now, first things that uh, has to be true would be about Mob of the Dead. There's no way Noah did not ask Jason about Mob of the Dead, tak tak tak, and I'm pretty damn sure we would have got something about that, possibly, and maybe that Mob of the Dead is coming into Black Ops 3, or in the next year game, I'm assuming it will be for the next game, but I don't think he will release this info this early. It would be something else, but one thing could be about Mob of the Dead, the second thing could be that Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles is gonna be bundled. If you guys remember, the Spanish YouTuber Vest pre-ordered that Zombies Chronicles, I guess it was a mix-up store in Mexico. Uh, he did that, he pre-ordered the Zombies Chronicles Black Ops 3 Bundle Edition. It seems like he will promote that through Noah, but if that was the only thing, Noah wouldn't say like three gigantic bombshells, like let's be real. And it wouldn't satisfy a large group of people that has already bought Black Ops 3 and got Zombies Chronicles, right? But the third thing could be about Grief Mode. Now surprisingly, Glitching Queen 
Queen tweeted out a day ago, or I mean a day before, on June 5th, that she has seen the evidence of grief mode in Revelations. Now, will they really activate it? And it makes sense to me that Jason would have done an interview specifically about that. He wouldn't do it for something insignificant. And he mentioned previously on interviews like he wouldn't want something like a game mode such as Grief to be in Black Ops 3 if it's unfinished because he doesn't want us to play it once and leave it behind. And from looks of things, it seems like Trek have been doing a lot of testing and it seems like it is finished and for sure it got glitching Queen convinced. Now, if we do end up getting Grief mode, it's going to be really damn awesome. It's gonna revive all the zombies map from ground up. Basically, it's gonna be a whole new kind of like mode and everything like that that we will enjoy and everything like that and I will surely gonna be doing open lobbies and playing with you guys and everything like that and it's surely going to revive all those previous DLC maps that we got and of course this is only speculation and only time will tell us for sure but I want to hear from you your opinion in the comment section down below but if you guys have enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe if you happen to be new on the channel and I'll see you guys very freaking soon